Now, we all have sympathy for the best man at a wedding. It is, after all, a daunting prospect to speak in front of a crowd. But there are things that you can do to overcome that nervousness of public speaking. Toastmasters is one such way, as our Martin discovered. <laughs> Sweaty palms, a dry mouth and knees that knock. For some people, public speaking can be a nightmare. Now whether you're looking to raise a glass at a wedding or raise your profile in the boardroom, Toastmasters may be able to help. Good morning everyone. You're all very welcome to Casanoff Toastmasters. My name is Sinead Moore and I'm the president of Casanoff Toastmasters. It is such an honour to be a president of a club whose primary aim is to help people to develop good, effective communication skills. So who would come uh, to join Toastmasters? The age profile in Toastmasters spans from 18, which is the minimum age, right up to, I do believe we have a member somewhere in Ireland who's in his 90s. Right. So it expands all age, age groups. Because different people have different needs. Supposing you, want, you have a best man speech coming up and you've never done one. Panic attacks. Where do you learn? In comfort in a safe environment and where you will get encouragement and feedback a Toastmaster Club. If you have a job interview, it might be another one. So somebody comes in and, and they're petrified because of their best man speech. Yeah. Uh, as well as giving tips, do you evaluate their speech? Yeah, what we do is if somebody wants to practice, say, a best man speech, he can come into a club, does it, and everybody in the audience is there, we give him a written evaluation as to why, what he's done well, where they think he could improve. But plus that, a member of the club will stand up and give him a two or three minute evaluation. Again, we thought you did this very well, this very well, this well. But perhaps, maybe when you were talking about Auntie May, you could have done this or yeah. that or the other to help them improve it, or delete it as the case may be, or improve the flow of the speech. Whatever it is, he will get constructive feedback that would help him to improve grow his confidence and help him deliver that top class best man speech. Timing is another thing when it comes yep. to speeches. So we've got the lovely lady down in the corner who has the clock running. That's right. We have, most speeches are between five and seven minutes. You get a warning light, mm -hmm. say you're at five, you're at six, you're at seven. At that stage, it's time to wrap it up. In a competition, if you go over your time, you're disqualified. Right. So we are very conscious of time. And it's really to focus on your content, your delivery, and your interaction with the audience. They're the three keys okay. to make a very good speech. Now there are two forms to Toastmasters. One is speech, and the other, to help you think on your feet, is impromptu questions. What piece of music or what type of music inspires you? First of all, as a teenager, my children can't believe this, Ray Charles was my idol. And Ray is a great blues and jazz and all kinds of thing. Take these chains from my heart and set me free. I said that once to my wife and <laughs> she, she, she wasn't very impressed. Yvonne Jordan from Enniscorthy is the District 71 champion. But what does that mean? Well, where it actually covers is it's um, Ireland and the UK. Oh, um, and that's, I went then on to represent Ireland and the UK in Florida last August. OK, and did pretty well. Um, well, as um, you mentioned earlier, I was third in my uh, semi-final. Richard Attenborough said, we all need heroes so we can measure our own shortcomings by. Well, I say, thank you, Richard, but stick to the acting. Uh, I've been Toastmaster for four years, okay. and um, I, I had seen Toastmaster for a while, and I kind of said, oh, I wonder what it's about, you know, and uh, uh, I said, now, you know, it might be good for my business. I'm an interior designer, and I said, you know, to communicate ideas and projects, mm. and you're trying to explain something. So that was one of the reasons. Um, I live out in the country and I said, you know, from a social aspect, I'll get out and meet like-minded people. So I went to one meeting and four years later then I was... Uh, they still can't get rid of you. Still can't get rid of me, yeah. <laughs> Other members are there for a variety of reasons. If I see that somebody has Toastmasters on their CV, I'm immediately by my eyes and my ears pick up because I say that person has made an effort to, to invest in their own self-development and their communication skills. But as a result of joining Toastmasters, I've actually reached a point now where I have, as somebody said earlier, I have set up my own training business, delivering right. presentation skills, training and coaching. OK, OK, so you've All turned it into a business. Driven by Toastmasters. I joined Luke and Toastmasters about three years ago, and it has really helped me in my teaching job, primarily for the one factor, that when you go into a class of students, if you lower your tone of voice way down, yeah they get freaked out. <laughs> really? <laughs> if, you, if you whisper, yeah. and just say it when you're ready, folks. 
They're gonna go, oh god, right, okay. And that has really helped me. That would frighten the bejapers <laughs> out of any, <laughs> any adult, <laughs> let alone child. It's really effective. He's teaching secondary school students, by yeah. the way, so it's not so bad. Your toddlers are not going home with, oh, the man hardly spoke. Uh, he's planning to go into politics as well, so I, I hope he does surprised. that. I'm not surprised, yeah. I hope he does that in Dáil Éireann. Uh, anyway, staying with confidence, how important is charisma when it comes to getting ahead in life? The belief that charisma is a natural-born gift is nothing more than that. In fact, it's a skill we can all learn to cultivate. So, so